rich. Sound American, Michael. Oh, let's go back to England early. Let's make this quick, eh? Right? You just fuck people up and you run away. No, this business will continue. Jack Nelson is also travelling to England. To London and to Edinburgh to buy import licenses. How the fuck do you know where Jack Nelson's going? Well, I have copies of his itinerary. Or his personal correspondence, letters from the President of the United States and his many mistresses. I have contacts in his organisation. An Irishman with a mortgage is a powerful resource, Michael. You're dead, Tommy. You're out of your fucking depth. You're dead already. You threatened to sell to the Jews. And I have contacts in this prison. These boys here will look after you during your stay. I don't need your fucking people to look after me. Jack Nelson's getting me out of here. Oh, yeah? Is he? This is a letter. Yeah, give him this letter, will you? This is a letter from the President's personal secretary suggesting Jack Nelson keep you in here for a while longer. Just until the press leaves interest, Michael. Fuck you. You'll be released eventually. And then you can execute your business with me as before. Our business being five million dollars for a shipment of powder. And when the exchange is done, we can shake hands and go our separate ways once more, eh? So you didn't learn. When my mother died at the hands of your ambition, you didn't learn your limitations. I have no limitations. Oh, and by the way, Michael, according to Jack Nelson's personal accounts, he bought passage for five people from Boston to Liverpool. Five people, his wife, his mistress, President Roosevelt's son, himself, and Gina Gray. Gina's coming to London, Michael. Where I will be happy to show the sights. Fuck! You fucking bastard! Spirit! Spirits, Boston Irish, Uncle Jack. You're the fucking devil! I'm ready for the conversation.